Darren at Big Al here at Paler. Uh, let's talk about a second precision method of drawing that uses the tools ortho and of course direct distance entry which is the keyboard. As you may or may not know ortho, I have it turned on here at the bottom of your screen, ortho allows you to draw lines. It's a tool that forces if you will the cursor to always give uh, angles of 0, 90, 180, and 270. Okay, orthogonal if you want to be that way about it. Let's see how it works. Okay, I'm going to pick up line. First thing I'm going to start with is a point. I click right there, left click, there's the point. I'm going to go over here, left click, and give it a point right there. Okay, you see that little break right there? That's the line that I have just made. Hit enter, enter, and we terminate the command. There's a point here and a point here. The line is drawn at zero degrees. Zero, 90, 180, 270, so on and so forth. Okay, so there's a point. Ortho allowed us to select one of the four angles of uh, zero, 90, 180, and 270. And all we had to do is direct enter using the keyboard, the value, to the next point and there was the next point, the point at the end of the line, or better known as the end of the vector, because vectors are what we call lines in AutoCAD. To have a vector, then, we need to specify a length and an angle. Okay, Let's make another one and see what that means. Here's a line. There's a point. Now notice what happens. You see in that, that little flag window, that's, it gives us the length, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you see? And an angle of 0. So it's a vector. It has a length and an angle. There's the length and an angle of 90. There's the length and angle of 180, a length and angle of 270. Okay, well let's go to 90. So left click, enter, enter, and there's another vector. Okay, you can see then that combining the two tools of ortho and distant, uh, direct distance entry allows us to draw lines with precise lengths and angles. Okay, if you're familiar with AutoCAD, then this is a given. If you're not familiar with it, think about it in terms of points, two points. Okay, a line existing as the shortest distance between the two points, and the angles as being controlled by the ortho. Okay, if we take ortho off and then we make a line, okay, start at this point, go to this point, we click again, there's your two points, enter, enter, there's your vector. So the difference is ortho looks like this and with ortho off we can go any place. And that's, uh, that's it for your second precision method of drafting. So this is Big Al over here at Paler. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks. Bye.